Audi lanceert in Genève deze RS5 achter mij. Maar bovendien ook de RS5 op het circuit. De DTM auto die staat weer achter deze mooie rode coupé. Het belangrijkste nieuws van de nieuwe RS5 ligt onder de motorkap. We krijgen nu een 2,9 liter V6 met twee turbo's. Goed voor 450 pk, net als zijn voorganger, maar dan met een hogere koppel en uiteraard een lager verbruik. Wat interessant is bij Audi is dat ze natuurlijk een naamsverandering hebben ondergaan. Wat ooit Quattro GmbH was voor de sportieve afdeling heet nu Audi Sport en dat is niet voor niets. Ze willen die link naar het circuit meer gaan leggen in alle RS modellen en de R8, want die valt ook onder deze club. En op die manier mondiaal nog meer groeien en dichter naar AMG en BMW en Motorsport toe. Daarover heb ik gepraat met Stefan Winkelman, hoofd van Audi Sport. Mr. Winkelman, congratulations on the launch of your new RS5. Uh, it's been a little over a year since there was your, the announcement of your transfer from Lamborghini to Audi RS. How, how has it been so far? My Audi Sport is a great brand. It's um, very focused, so we are having a lot to do. We have a lot of cars in the pipeline. Uh, we will launch eight new models by the end of the year 2018. We work a lot on uh, the strategy for the brand, because now we did a lot for the cars, the product. The next step is to do much more for the brand. Uh, did you have a big veto and on the name change? Was it part of your idea or was that something that was already going on? I don't know, but we did it last year. So Quattro, in our opinion, after 25 years, was not really saying that much to the people. And Audi Sport is a headline for everything which is under the umbrella of sportiness inside Audi. So racing cars, um, street legal cars, but also programs like uh, exclusive and uh, uh, the things we, we wear, so the, 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 the collection. Does it mean changes for an, uh, to an icon, for example, the Audi RS6 is one of the most iconic Audi RS models ever? Are you going to change the whole prospect of that car or will it be, remain the same? No, we are looking for new icons. Uh, for us, let's say the, the Lighthouse uh, was the R8 of the uh, first generation. This was the car, not only for Audi Sport, for the, but for the entire Audi AG. And we are looking forward for something like this. And uh, we have ideas. But we are in a, in a phase of, uh, let's say, uh, where we have natural, uh, normal combustion engines, we have hybrids and there is uh, the battery technology coming. So it's very difficult to combine a really sporty car with the new te technology. But this is what we have to achieve. Of course, the previous RS5 had an atmospheric engine and now you changed to turbo power. You think, was that a difficult decision to make? But you know, this is a V6, it's a very powerful engine and we would not have done the change from naturally aspirated uh, to a turbo if, let's say, the performance would not have been there. So the combination of performance, lightweight and uh, in addition the reduction of the CO2, uh, these are the winning points. How do you want the Audi Sport medals, uh, models to compare to the competition, uh, for example from other German brands? But we say that uh, our cars are athletes in a tailor-made suit, so we don't want to be too big, we don't want to be uh, too pimped up. This is, I think, crucial uh, for the future of these cars. They have to look good, but they, and they have to be fast, but it has to be a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. 